What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the Foot Birthday Tiago card, a card that has been upgraded from a 3 star weak foot all the way over to a 5 star, making him 5 star, 5 star. So obviously props to EA when it comes down to the 5 star skills and 5 star weak foot, because he looks unreal. He really does. Like 82 pace, 94 dribbling, 83 shooting, 83 defending, 91 passing, with the 78 physicals as well. Looking like a nice, a very nice all-rounded card. He is a 5 foot 9 player, so he hasn't got the greatest interception or tackle reach in the midfield. He's got medium, medium work rates, and he is right footed. Now there's two different chem styles you can apply on this card. And it depends on where you actually want to play him, depending on, you know, which chem style you're going to use. So, sentiment or CDM position is the shadow chem style. Chem position is the hunter chem style. And I will be using both chem styles this episode because I want to play this guy in multiple positions. I'm going to play him in a CDM position. I'm going to play him in a sentiment position. And I'm going to play him in a cam position with a hunter chem style. So, most likely, I will switch the chem style halfway through the review. So, the shadow chem style giving him that plus 10 sprint speed, which he really, and I mean really, does need how can someone have 95 acceleration but only 71 sprint speed that is absolutely terrible now with the shadow chem style you're giving him 99 acceleration with the 81 sprint speed so it's not terrible but it's still not great now when it comes down to his shooting ability 86 attacking positioning 80 finishing 86 shot power 84 long shots 97 volleys with the 86 penalties as well I must admit, he's shooting stats with the Shadow Chem style, not, you know, not even touching it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. He's still going to be able to finish it, finish the chances inside the box. It's just with the Hunter Chem style, it's going to make him a bit more clinical, let's say. Now, his passing ability, 91 vision, 84 crossing, 82 freaky accuracy, 95 short passing, 95 long passing with a 91 curve as well. Passing in general looks absolutely disgusting, especially for a player that has got that five-star weak foot as well. Now, his dribbling ability, I'm expecting him to feel amazing on the ball saying that he is a five foot nine player he's got 95 agility 94 balance 89 reactions 94 ball control, uh, ball control sorry 94 dribbling with a 90 composure as well so yeah just looking like a really really good player on the ball and i'm expecting him to turn very you know very fast let's say i'm expecting his skill moves as well to come off very nicely now the defending stats 99 interceptions for a five foot nine player it's something you don't see very often, but it's something you do love to see. Now, his defensive awareness is 85. He has got 93 standing tackling with a 95 slide tackling as well. Even though his interception slash tackle reach is not the greatest, I'm still expecting this guy to put in a very, very solid tackle. Now, when it comes down to his physicals, he's got 92 jumping, 91 stamina, 75 strength with the 68 aggression as well. We all knew his strength and aggression wasn't going to be the greatest, but the one thing I do love to see is the stamina because I know Tiago is going to be one of those players that's going to help me out going forward and it's going to help me out massively going backwards as well so him obviously running up and down the pitch he's going to need that stamina to his game which he clearly does have now when it comes down to the links links are pretty easy he's from spain and he's obviously from liverpool which is in the premier league so you know links wise it's very nice i've personally gone for two icons and it is going to be moments rykard and desai i've also got like to trent and my boy bale to make him on full chemistry now when it comes down to positions sentiment cdm cdm position with a shadow a chem style in a 4 2 3 1 and then a 4 4 2 and in the cam position it'll be a 4 2 3 1 with the hunter chem style but let's get into the games Tiago on the ball gonna try to run forward a little bit lack of head to cancel lby all the way to the other side my god look how perfect that pass is over to Tiago. oh he feels nice he feels nice on the ball boys which is expected that's perfect finesse shot Oh, that's a good save from Oblak, I guess. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't the greatest shot, to be fair. But he was really nice on the ball there. I'm liking how close he keeps that ball to his feet. And I like how quick he actually turned. Trent, over to Thiago. Well played. You know what? I see it again. And LBY all the way over to the top. I'm actually impressed. How we actually got that under pressure as well, perfectly towards a player, is pretty nice. Can I get a tackle? No. Can I get the slide tackle? We're just going to miss out. Gonna try to get out to him. Can I go in for the tackle? It wasn't really a tackle, let's all be fair. It kind of just bounced off him in a way. Quick McGeady spin. That's nice. Continue to run. He doesn't feel too bad on the ball either when it comes down to sprinting with him. Like, he actually is pretty fast. Keep going. Ball roll. Nah, we're just gonna get tackled there. On the ball here. Oh, that's beautiful. LBY as well. 
Oh, that's such a good... He's passing ability. I've tried that, what, like, three times now on that weaker foot, on that five-star weak foot. And it's literally been a perfect pass every single time. We got a free kick here, boys, and there's only one thing we're going to do. Tiago, you're going to step up to the plate, lad. He's going to put someone on the line, isn't he? All right. What we're going to... Actually, it's... I see that's Mac. You know what? I'm going to go for it. He's not that tall of a player. So maybe we can hit it just above him. It was a good free kick. I can tell you that. Should we go for long shot? Why not? Why not? Oh, it was off the screen. I couldn't even see it, to be fair. No line. Keep going, Tiago. Try to catch up to Lozano. I'm going to try to transition back into the middle. One thing I 100% am noticing, by the way, that was a good tackle. But yeah, one thing I'm noticing is his transition speed. It is not the greatest at all. He's not a player that can get out to my opponent quickly. And when it comes down to like transitioning, aka going left and right, he's not great at it either. So right now, in that CDM position, he I must admit, he does look a little bit questionable there. Tiago, see if I can put in a tackle. Well played. That was a solid tackle as well. This is what I mean. You give him that opportunity to go in for the tackle. He's going to put in a very solid tackle because of his stats, right? It's just how often he's going to be able to reach over there is a little bit of an issue. No pass through in the middle. Oh, I, try, I thought he was going to read it down. I'm going to continue running over there. He's just a little bit too slow, but he eventually gets there. That was a decent interception as well. Tiago going forward. Ball roll around you. Reverse flip flap. It didn't really come out, but we're still going to somehow score the goal. Hold up. No, no, no. Hold up a second. Surely, surely that took a rebound because that did not look clean at all. It didn't look like, look like he went straight into the back of the net. It looked like it took, a, a, you know, a few bounces, let's say. But what a shot either way. So we have switched over to the Hunter Kemsar now. We are going to see how he actually is going to perform in the cam position. I feel like in that centre mid position and that CDM position, his transition speed just wasn't good enough in a 4-4-2 and in a 4-2-3-1 formation. So for me, I feel like he's going to be just a perfect cam. He's going to be one of those cams that's going to be able to pass the ball perfectly, shoot the, ball, shoot the ball perfectly because of that Hunter Kem style, and obviously dribble the ball perfectly as well, especially with those 5-star skill moves. So let's see how it goes. Rykar going to dribble, going to give it to Thiago now. Fake shot, flip flap. Oh, we get lucky. Oh, it's beautiful to create the angle towards the near post as well. And look at the finish. Straight into the corner with so much power. Mbappe, going to give it to Rykar here. Can I give it to Thiago? I can. I'm going to go for that dummy. See if I can scoop turn around him. You see how he keeps that ball so close? Look, he's dribbling, man. It says it all. It really does. How? Oh, my God. Oh, that's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. Do you see how close he keeps that ball to his feet? Do you see how good he's dribbling is? Come on, man. Give it to Thiago. Good touch and turn. Good flip flap. Oh, I'm telling you, boys. Play this guy in a cam position. Straight up. I don't, I don't even have to see any more. Play this guy in a cam position and you won't be disappointed. He is 100% a cam. It's ridiculous how good he is in that position. Straight to his feet. Whoa, that is the weirdest flip flap I've possibly ever seen. But we move. That's nice. See what this guy's doing? Oh, stop it, Tiago. No, why can't the long shot be good there? It was honestly beautiful. Just calm and composed, keeping it, you know, just close to his feet and all. Just trying to create the angle for the long shot. Mbappe. Oh, to Tiago. Use that speed to get around that corner. Reverse flip flap to get the finesse shot angle. Van der Sar pulling out top bin saves. Bale. Over to Thiago. Going to give it to Neymar here. I must admit, he has got a nice balance when it comes down to his movement in the cam position. Like, he comes short a fair bit. But if he sees that run in behind, he will actually make it. Like, right there. He saw the space. He said, why not? Let's make it. And let's see if we can score a goal while we end up losing the ball. Good touch. Really good touch. Can I try to get away? Yeah, that's going to be the issue about him playing in a cam, centre mid, or even see the ambition position, to be fair. The fact that you can't really run with the ball with him when it comes down to coming up against, like, defenders, like, good defenders, let's say. Like, you match up against, like, a Klosterman or an Mbabu or, I don't know, like, a, a to be fair, a Diego Dalot, like this guy's got. He's going to get 100% caught up. Mbappe, give it to Thiago here. Cut it into the inside. Wait for Mbappe to make the overlapping run. Pass it back to the inside. Give it back to Tiago. Oh my god. The pass from Neymar. It was a crazy, crazy assisted pass without a doubt. Because for me, I just clicked A. All I did was click A to give it to his feet. But apparently it goes for a crazy good through ball. RBA. Nice. Good pass. Good touch as well from Tiago there. Um, I noticed, by the way, no matter how much power I put into the pass, he always takes a good touch. 
good strength as well. Nah, he just gets away from him. That was good strength though, just to kind of hold, hold off Cancelo for like a short period of time. So it is time to review. We ended up playing two games with Thiago. We scored four goals and unfortunately we did not get an assist. But we all know with this guy's passing ability, he could easily, and I mean easily, get assist. His passing ability, left foot, right foot, all the way to the other side, it didn't matter. The ball was going to get where you wanted to get to. Like, it's ridiculous on how good it actually is. His dribbling ability as well, my god, you saw it. Me literally going in circles, spinning kids inside out was absolutely insane. But yeah, do I I believe this card is worth the 820k I personally picked him up for. I do. Without a doubt, this card is so, so good. It's stupid, boy. So, like, play him in a cam position, and trust me, you won't be disappointed. Play him in a CDM position, I feel like you are going to be disappointed. Because even though his tackling ability and I felt like his interceptions were good, even without an interception reach, I still feel like that transition speed, especially in March, just wasn't good enough. It really wasn't. So, yeah, if you want to use him to his full potential, play him in a cam position, and trust me, you will not be disappointed. I wouldn't play this guy in a center mid position either in like a 4-4-2 in a 4-1-2-1-2 in a left center mid position okay but in a 4-4-2 in that center mid position nah I would I wouldn't go for it it's just these transition speed for me personally just isn't good enough but let's get into the ratings pace wise it wasn't amazing let's all be fair but it wasn't bad either so for pace I am gonna give him I'll probably say like an 8.4. An 8.4 slash... Nah, 8.3 slash an 8.4 out of 10. I feel like that's a bit more reasonable. Shooting ability. I really did enjoy his shot. You get this guy inside inside that box with the Hunter Chem style. It's going to go into the back of the net. So for shooting, I am going to give him... I would honestly say... I'll probably say like an 8.7. 8.7 out of 10. Passing ability, top tier. And you can't go against it. I'm going to be honest. Passing ability, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. He definitely 100% deserves it. Dribbling ability... Oh, I don't want to give him a 10 out of 10 because I don't feel like he feels as good as a player like Neymar, but it's very close. It's very, very close. So for dribbling, I am going to give this card, I would say like a 9.7 out of 10. Absolutely insane. And as I said, you won't be disappointed when it comes down to his dribbling. Defending ability. I'm only going to give it one rating simply because in a cam position, he didn't really come back on defense. So the rating I'm going to give him is for the shadow chem style. And it is going to be, I would say... I'll probably say like a solid 8.6 out of 10. 8.6 slash an 8.7. As I said, you get him in the opportunity to go in for the tackle. He's going to put in a good tackle. It's just how often he can actually get into that position. It just isn't the greatest. And when it comes down to his physicals, I must admit the strength just... It was okay, I guess. It just wasn't it, you know. It wasn't him bodying off players. It wasn't him shielding off players. So the strength and aggression just wasn't the greatest. The stamina was very good. And the jumping ability, I obviously didn't really see it come into play. Because he is only a five foot nine player so for physicals i am gonna give him i'll probably say like an 8.1 out of 10 8.1 out of 10 seems very reasonable but an overall rating out of 10 he's a top tier card without a doubt and i want to give him a high rating and he is going to get a high rating and it is going to be a 9.1 slash a 9.2 out of 10 i'm telling you boys you get this guy in a cam position you will not be disappointed he is so so good there it's ridiculous the only thing he slacks in the cam position is pace that's literally it everything else perfect but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace